Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game, and today, a look at Cyclops from Marvel United. Now, uh, Marvel United is, is a game all about, well, trying to defeat the scheme of the villain and then uh, complete objectives and ultimately take out the villain. So Cyclops uh, is, is a pretty well-rounded character, as you would figure from the leader of the X-Men... Uh, well, second to Professor X, but Cyclops would frequently lead a, a team. Uh, Cyclops has three movement, which is not great, but he's going to depend on other characters for that bonus movement. Um, whether it's Storm or Beast, you know, those are high movement characters. Even Wolverine has more movement. He has six heroics and five punch symbols in his deck, which... Uh, you know, my wife and I were talking before the video and, and we're like, wait, Cyclops is like a really good punchy character and diversity in the way that he punches. And then I went and I counted. I'm like, wait, no, he only has five punches. This is weird. Why, why do we remember him as being a punchy character? Well, it's these optic blast cards, which he gets to punch in both adjacent locations. So really you're taking those five punch symbols that he has and you're, adding two more punches for each of these. So that five really goes up to nine punches, which is why I think we remember him as a punchy character. Plus being able to punch adjacent with a punch, if he's given a move uh, in addition, uh, you know, from the previous character, he can double punch something, whether that's a, a henchman or the villain it gives him a ton of flexibility in how he's going about punching. He can remove two thugs from a location. There's a lot to like about the way Cyclops goes about delivering his punches. I also really like two double heroic cards. These are not seen frequently, and that helps a ton early game clearing out threats. It's going to help other characters because other characters can either finish off the threat or they can play like a move card and still have two heroic symbols to make a difference. And that is such a big key that Cyclops is setting people up to do really good things. It is a reality you have to acknowledge. Three of his cards are only giving out a single punch. Two of them are giving out a single move. So five cards, and even the sixth here with a, a single heroic, He's not giving a ton of symbols out, but when he does give doubles, he's giving out really nice doubles. The double wild, two double heroics, a move heroic, which is a very rare card and something I, I always like pointing out when I see it. And double punch, which double punch late game or early game if you got to take out some henchmen, great card. But then... And I think this is where we got to acknowledge where Cyclops brings in a lot. He has the cap and the Iron Man mold from season one. He gets to give a wild token from the pool to another hero. And that's on two of his cards. So for one, he gets four special cards. But he's also giving out wild tokens to another hero that can be to the next player in line. So really it's like he's passing a heroic and a wild, or a move, and a wild, and then if the player doesn't need it that next turn, it's in the bank for when that that action is going to be needed the most. Cyclops is a great setup character. He is very well-rounded. You're not going to go wrong bringing Cyclops into your team. He's going to fill in whatever position you need him to. You need the heroic character, you got him. You need the punchy character, you got him. You need move support, He's probably not the best at that, but with the two wild tokens he's passing along and the bit of movement he's got on his cards, he's not hideous at giving move support either. So Cyclops for me, great overall character, probably one of my favorite overall characters. Anyway, that's all I got on him. I do think he fits uh, what we see in terms of uh, his comic representation, Movie representation, not so much. That Cyclops was a little whiny, annoying guy. But uh, comic book representation, yeah, thumbs up from me. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep brushing up your game. Take care.